Banana! Banana! Fail, fail, fail! You didn't capture some banana monkeys five parts laziness, three parts cuteness, and two parts playfulness at all! <sighs> but I'm already doing the best I can, Charmini Banana Visor! It's so hard to play a monkey. <sighs> An utter disappointment to the monkeys! <sighs> Maybe we should change the cast. Acting skills alone won't cut it. They need to adore Slumber Nana with every fiber of their being, Banana! Charmini Banana Advisor, I have a few candidates here. <laughs> Perhaps they will be to your liking. Oh? They seem to have potential, Banana Banana. I hope you don't leave me disappointed. Hmm... Is this evil fiendling a dragon or a monkey? Monkey? No, I mean... Uh, I'm a Charmony Banana Advisor! <sighs> How wonderful it is to have been scouted by Mr. Rekka! Have faith in a professional director's judgment. Have your scripts ready, actors. Show the Banana Advisor what you're capable of. Assign the actors to their roles, then. The leading role of Brave Monkey shall be... Mr. Rekka, I, I, I want to try this role again. Vanilla, look, your earlier performance was disappointing enough. It's fine. Let's give this proactive actress one more shot. Brave Monkey is known for its can-do attitude, too. Next up is Wise Monkey, who guides Brave Monkey. Your disposition makes you perfect for this role, Don Hung. As you wish. And finally, we have the villain, the Devil of Stress. I'm confident you'll nail it, Superstar. <laughs> The role of a conflicted villain requires sublime acting. An improvised lines further demand a robust foundation in the art. You are the only one who can take on this most challenging role. Not so fast. What role do I play? Oh, it seems all the roles have been assigned. But yes, we'll need someone to narrate. Rapper, the narrator! This is your role! A lofty ninja hero relegated to the likes of a narrator? 
So be it. We'll begin once everyone's ready. The assistant director's camera is ready to roll. Fledgling actors, are you banana ready? Then get on stage! Mr. Rekka, get the cameras rolling, Bana. Actors, take your positions. Three, two, one. Action! Dreamscape's glowing, gold hall's flowing, a legendary feast about to get going. Whoa, stop! What Bana nonsense are you reciting? This is the ninja mantra. Embellishing words with ninja enchantments is bound to make the play a hundred times more vivid. <sighs> I knew this student wasn't reliable. Forget it. Focus on slumber nana monkey only. Nothing else matters. Then I'll continue. From the hearts of men, monsters arise. The banquet turns to scorch earth laughter to cries. A passing hero lends a hand. <laughs> no surprise. I'm up next. I have to come up with something obnoxiously conceited. I finally get to make a Baneb Baneb appearance. All you Baneb students are a Baneb Baneb bunch of losers. Yeah, go ahead and Baneb have remembered that. That I, Baneb, Baneb, cussed at you, Baneb, at your own Baneb, Baneb, paperfold university. Fail! That's plain crass! Bana, Bana, Bana! Fail! Brave Monkey is the savior of our university! It would never utter such dainty Bana gibberish! So sorry, Bana! Let me try that again. Bana, Bana, Bana! Suffering and pain, the fruits of blind hate. A hero draws a sword ready for the fight to break. Bana, Bana! You're messing it up again! Brave Monkey hasn't gained the power to defeat the Devil of Stress at this point. How can it possibly have so much grit? So, so sorry, Bana. I'll try again. Bana! Bana! It's my turn now. I should say something demeaning to Brave Monkey. <laughs> Good for nothing, Monkey. You're no match for me, loser Monkey. Go back home and chomp on your bananas instead. Fail! I don't feel an ounce offended by your failure of a demeaning provocation! You're only coming off as a cutie banana pie! <laughs> banana, banana! The heroes down and out, defeat hanging in the air, but in walks the master with wisdom to share. Uh, uh, banana! Banana, banana! Banana, banana. You! Your lines are fine. Go on. Next line. Thanks for quenching her wrath, Don Hung. The master's wisdom resonates to his core. The hero's blade sharper than ever before. Yesterday's loser is back in the fight. Fight or flight, evil doers think twice. It's my turn again. This time, I'll say something to taunt Brave Monkey. Your grit's worth a nod, but you're no less of a dud. Better learn how to flow or get lost in the flood. With me spitting power, a zillion times yours, gonna have to concede or crawl home on all fours. Stellarly brutal! You've attained the skills of a semi-emanator when it comes to reciting the ninja mantra! Fail! We're in an acting class! 
Stop applying whatever you learned in music! Banana, banana. Oh, fail, fail, fail! Stop filming! Mr. Eka! None of them are cut out for portraying our beloved monkeys, Banana! Wait! Please just give me one more! Second chances don't come around that often, girl! Please, I'm begging you! Being in one of Mr. Rekka's films is my dream! Um, don't say that. If you want my opinion, there's nothing amiss with Ninja Nishi Gakaku's acting. In fact, you are being overly critical of her. <laughs> you think? Are you the banana advisor who grades her work, or the director who assigns her roles? It's up to me to assess my students' worth in this class! <sighs> Let's stop filming, Mr. Rekka! We need to swap out the actors! Stop! No! Not yet! The show still isn't over! Banana! Uh... Banana! Not this again. It feels like I'm in a dream. Are you alright? But. But now! Bana! 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 Looks like the Bana academics is taking effect! Congratulations, students! Thanks to Slumber Nana Monkey, you'll soon be qualified actors! <laughs> Just as I thought, this is yet another snare laid down by the evil ninja. Why are you still lucid? <gasps> Truly an incorrigible student! Nay, dinosaur fiendling! Your feeble sorcery stands no chance against my dazzling ninjutsu! Watch me snap everyone back to their senses! Hiya! Dazzling palm, fight just chop! Ninjutsu inscriptions. The stone heart of a ninja is immune to pressure, immune to lies, come wind, rain, or shine. <sighs> Never forget who you truly are, Ninja Nishikigaku. Uh, are we on to another film now? <gasps> is this going to be about ninjas? No, but we've come to the climax of the film! Just a small swap among the roles. <laughs> Charmony Banana Advisor, you're up for the villain this time. What are you even? I said to stop filming! Stop filming! Cut! When you're on my set, I am the director. Come on now, dear actors. Let's salvage this lousy film with an electric Electrifying fight scene. Huh. Great ninja minds think alike. <laughs> I agree. If you unruly students insist on disrupting my class, 
You're in for some corrective bananishment. Teach them a lesson, Assistant Annas. From this very moment, back down, retreat. The hero says never. The way of the ninja burning in their heart forever. With fiendling blood, the sword of justice will be stained as the school casts off every shackle, every chain. Hey! Do I really have to fight too? Seems like you are destined to be nothing. Just accept on the man of the grace of a happy life. Oh. <sighs> destined? <clears throat> All nonsense! The ninja's blade can and must sever the chain of cause and effect! What do you want to know? <laughs> Stand still. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. Destiny for oblivion. Wicked tongues, wicked lies, all of them destroyed. Say goodbye to evil plot strategies and ploys. The life of the party, savior of the school. Let's hear it for the hero, here to keep it cool. Ninja Nishikagaku, deliver your final line. A banana! Oh, scratch that. Evil thing! Your vile words cannot bring Ninja Initiate Gagaku down! It's victory for us ninjas! Hooray! Yeah! Huh. This one has ceased operating as well. It's as if some unseen puppeteer cut its strings. Ninja Gamma, can you kindly enlighten us on the proceedings thus far? <laughs> so you actors have caught on! <laughs> Let me reveal the next act in the plot then. We'll be exploring the misdeeds going down at Paperfold University. All right now, dear actors. Ever heard of a mimetic virus? Is that what Slumber Nana Monkey is? You're right. Mimetic corruption comes about from the dissemination of data. It alters particles of information picked up by the cognitive module, skewing the sensory perception of certain objects in those that have been corrupted. Much like special effects in a film. Words, songs, videos, these are all mediums of transmission. Humans naturally have a curiosity for the unknown, and mimetic viruses take advantage of this. Mimetic corruption is known to influence one's thoughts even in the real world, and in the dreamscape. They catalyze nightmares that corrupt humans into monkeys. Hence, the evil ninja instructs the evil fiendlings to spread through media, masking it as entertainment to implant the seeds of dark sorcery in the hearts of the ninja initiates. Misappropriating the role of actual educators gave them the perfect chance to mangle the minds of innocent ninja initiates, only to hasten the growth of those fiendish seeds they sowed. And so, all ninja initiates of Paper Full Town will succumb to fiendishness, becoming puppets of the evil ninja. What a despiteous, degenerate, and dastardly ploy! Uh, what are you talking about? Are these lines in the script? This actor's lines may be somewhat cryptic, but yes. The general plot direction is on point. But, Ninja Gama, why are you bogged down by an action when you've long realized the truth behind their pretense? I'm just a director that stumbled upon a sinister plan. A reckless move on my part can bring dire consequences. It is up to very important stars like you to defeat that hell kite of a villain. These banana advisors were appointed by the acting dean, Prof Nana. I believe I don't have to make this any more explicit. 
Go to the Dean's office to find the answers you seek. Oh, and keep me updated on how the plot unfolds. Oh, what about my part? Do I still have any scenes coming up? You're keen about appearing in my films, aren't you? Come over here and choose a script. <laughs> showdown looms ahead of us, fellow ninjas. We ought to make haste with ninja speed. Ah, what a surprise, my dear students. Hmm, no appointment or a polite knock on the door, but I welcome you but nonetheless. Cease the shady evasion! I urge you to come clean now. You're evil ninja Osaru's fiendling chief, aren't you? Uh, uh, excuse me, dear student. Could you help me translate that? The short story is that a memetic virus has broken loose in Paperfold University. It's going around infecting the students' minds as we speak. Slumber Nana Monkey is that virus, Prof Nana. And its transmission was orchestrated by none other than your banana advisors. <sighs> I thought this class would last a little longer than this. Your confession came sooner than we expected. So, is this one of Dr. Primitive's schemes? A scheme? But nah. You're thinking too highly of this place. Panacone is nothing but a cesspool of riches. It will never be worthy of the great doctor's sublime experiments on humans. Here. It's just me, a second-class research aide, working in Penacone on my graduation thesis. An atavistic experiment centered around mimetic entities. My research is going along smoothly. People here adore slumber, Nana Monkey, especially students from the youth demographic group. Soon, they'll create a new synesthesia dreamscape, the moment of slumber, Nana, and foster its growth, expansion, and evolution. Endless atrocities that Osaru unleashed onto the world. Just to build an evil realm where a hundred malevolent spirits prowl at night? Put them. Girl, I cannot begin to fathom your cryptic speech. It doesn't sound like you're speaking ill of me. Or are you? Never mind. Ordinary folks will never understand the great cause of our atavistic experiment. How about a pop quiz before I clarify your doubts? Who knows how bananas reproduce? maintain their taste, the majority of commercial bananas are produced through asexual reproduction. Lacking seeds and pollen, they are grown from the same rhizome. Hmm. That's correct. Five amber eras ago, the Intelligentsia Guild cultivated a banana species that humans deem perfect, the Golden Slumber Nana. The Golden Slumber Nana swiftly dominated the food market. Nutritious, sweet, and its peel gives off a mesmerizing golden sheen. It transformed every interstellar banana plantation into a spectacle akin to the golden hour at night. But it eventually became extinct, didn't it? Exactly. Because it was cultivated by humans, the slumber nana lacked room for evolution. Having the same set of genes also meant sharing the same vulnerabilities. And when a fatal cosmic fungus wormed its way into the production line, 
the same banana species that reigned over all the others of its kind, was scrubbed clean from the entire cosmos in just mere months. Are you saying that humans will suffer the same fate? Of course! The Golden Slum Banana's predecessor was the highly reproductive Jade Green Banana. If not for human intervention, it would have blossomed much more vibrantly over the years. Much like Penacone as we know it. It's a pity those on Penacone just had to be second-rate copycats. What with constructing skyscrapers, building cities, printing currencies, and even making the decision to become like the other cogs in the cosmic marketplace. Following the exact path of the Golden Slumber Nana, stubbornly holding on to the status quo, creating fatal vulnerabilities for themselves, and ultimately becoming useless. Having undergone a flawed banana enlightenment, the doctor seeks to return these misguided worlds to their embryonic potential, giving them a fresh chance to develop. This is the atavistic experiment. However, I have visited those planets. As I traveled from one planet to the other, a prevalent but unpalatable observation struck me. Not a single ninja could speak. They had all become fiendlings. <sighs> but I know for a fact that they were not born this way. The monkey that scurried past you was once a sailor. He knew how to ferment his own wine and would do so regularly. The one in the distance, fighting with the other monkeys over a piece of fruit, used to be the smartest person on his planet, even having the knowledge to send people soaring into the sky. But from now on, they're monkeys. Just monkeys. Am I imagining things, or did you learn how to speak like a normal person? Or could it be that this familiar scene reminded you of your past? Given the doctor's brilliant mind, his ambitions are lofty and are sure to be realized. But the commoners? All they do is lose themselves in unrealistic fantasies, becoming an impediment to a civilization's evolutionary progress. Whether imbued with life or not, everything ought to be used to its full potential. Uh, how long has it been now? I'm surprised that lesson hasn't stuck. Doctor's failed creation. <sighs> Your scheme ends here. Oh, is that so? Ever considered why I allowed you to do as you please on campus? Even going as far as to guide you to me? Paperfold University is nothing more than an incubator. No great loss if discarded. But if it can eradicate the pests in the lab, then it'd be used to its full potential. Banana, banana. That's all I have for you. Class dismissed. Just what do you think you're doing, Memo Keeper? I've already met all your demands, dearest producer. Please hold up your end of the deal as we've agreed. Lift this abominable curse that stifles my artistic expression. Demands? 
I'm afraid not, Mr. Becker. Until you hand over those incorrigible and willful monkeys, you have not met all of my demands. But that's not our deal. I went to great lengths to help you infiltrate the school, disrupted the family's surveillance, and even dealt with the ranger who was causing you the most trouble. And now you want me to give up ownership of the actors? We're talking exceptional talents that are incredibly rare to come by. They have so many more stories waiting to be unearthed. I can't allow their journey to end here. Mr. Wrecker, there is no room for negotiation here. I have no need to negotiate with a captive. If you don't acquiesce, then in less than three system hours, you'll turn into a slumber nana monkey like those students. Hand them over now if your directing career even means anything to you. No, I refuse. Prof. Nana, have you ever wondered why I ended up under your control? Tracking down the doctor's whereabouts shows you have some skill. However, believing you could follow us unnoticed was quite presumptuous, wasn't it? Even if we were to need animals for our experiment, you're nowhere near qualified, great director. What a pity. I put my life on the line just so I could make this wonderful film a reality. I decided a long time ago that I'd do anything for art. So your threat means nothing to me. Every film crew knows full well the risks they run the moment filming begins. And in turn, a dedicated director would never stop rolling the cameras. Even if it meant having to insert an obelisk next to a crew or cast member's name in the credits. In the end, you too are just a pitiable monkey, struggling for worthless dreams. Be prepared to sacrifice yourself then. Hatred is the frailty of the weak. Fudging banana. That line again. And that is everything that Slumber Nana Monkey taught me. Think about this, everyone. The emotions we experience, be it joy, sadness, or an epiphany. Every one of them is produced from a subtle shift in chemical composition within this vessel of ours. With some manipulation, we should be able to easily create or erase emotions. That means triggering a sudden change in your own temperament isn't out of the question. So here's my conclusion. Even if a behavior is generated after thorough deliberation, it is no more sophisticated than the simple act of jumping. What a load of horse manure. I'm checking somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, wait! Oh, where are you going? It wasn't easy to get in, so don't do anything that'll draw unnecessary attention. At least, stop pointing your gun at people. I appreciate it, nameless gal. You have uh, quite the authority around here, huh? Has the uh, Astral Express begun to take on monkeys? I wasn't expecting that either. But the assistant Anna's insist I'm a great talent. They even gave me a membership card with a high level of clearance. Wait. Talented for a club that advocates the abandonment of all thought? Ain't wrong, am I? You were so darn mesmerized by their speech back there. Oh, well, I was just listening to what they had to say. It's not like they managed to convince me anyway. Plus, if they don't talk in rhyme, it's probably just nonsense. <sighs> 
So, what brought you here? You don't look like you're a fan of these monkeys. Why not? Galaxy Rangers are forking monkey fans. We go bananas at the mere sight of them. So, he's on the hunt for some kind of fugitive? That explains why he's dressed like a sheriff. Uh, no, no. I guess you could say he is a fugitive. <laughs> what? Yada yada. Tell her my last story then. I'm gonna go check the place out.